All right, we are back in Sekiro. Here in this place, I've already forgotten what it's called. I think we saw what it was called down here. I don't know why I pulled my sword out just then. The Dilapidated Temple is what this place is called. So there is another pathway over here to the left. Let's go check this out. And we're pulling out our sword for this area. Mmm, looks empty. There's a door. We can hug the wall. <laughs> Sealed from the other side. Hmm, that looks a little bit like a bug. So that looks like uh, that will be a shortcut at some point. Nothing there right now, though. All right, that's fine. I accept. I accept it, I guess. All right, doctor. See you later. I guess we're going out to do some adventuring. So I guess we need to rescue. Um, oh, we get a grappling hook now. The Shinobi Prosthetics Grappling Hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are designated with a circular symbol. When the symbol turns green, the grapple point is within reach. So I have the grappling hook set for G. Hmm. So it's not quite a uh, Quake Capture the Flag level of grappling hook. It's it's more of a Far Cry grappling hook where you, you have to... Uh, you have to, you can only grapple to predetermined locations. That's kind of a bummer, but it's fine. Uh, so it looks like we, we couldn't go anywhere that way. So I don't have to hold down G or anything. It just, it just does it. Well, that was weird. So there's a couple of different places I think I saw. Yeah, there's two, two different spots I can grapple there. Doesn't seem to matter which one I pick. So we can't go through the, the broken bridge canyon there, so we have to go this way. And we need to jump up here and do that wall climbing thing. Climb up the ledge. My dog is in the room with me now, snoring. So you might hear that, that in the background. So let's, uh, let's go up here. Let's... The Ashina outskirts. That's where we are now. So there's the castle. I guess that's where we're going. Well, that's a cool screenshot. So, um... So I wonder if there's any way... Do we have, like, the auto-hide HUD option on this thing? Auto target camera options. Sound and display HUD auto hide partial. Auto hide all. Let's do auto hide all. Because we want to do cool screenshots. That's what we want to do. Cool screenshots. A boom. Cool screenshot taken. Looks like we're going to be grappling over there. I don't know, I don't, I don't know about this grappling hook thing. It just seems like a little bit of a, it seems like a bit of a gimmick if, if there's only one place you can go with the grappling hook. And we have a, uh, Sculptor's Idol here. Sculptor's Idol found! You can now instantly travel between Sculptor's Idols that have already been communed with. Travel can be accessed via the Sculptor's Idol travel menu. So... We can go to the dilapidated temple or the outskirts. Well, there's only one place there. So... I did not mean to do that. I actually did not mean to travel. I don't know why I did that. 
uh, let's let's actually uh, travel back mm. to <laughs> my dog is so loud she's mm. such a loud snorer I'm I'm kind of worried that something's wrong with her she snores so loud um, I feel like it wasn't uh, when I used the mouse there it wasn't really uh, moving over there that was weird Trying to yell at my dog to get her to not be so loud. So far, it's not working. Oh, that was a cool move. Ooh, there's an item here. Ungo's sugar. Sugar candy made in Senpao Temple is sustaining Ungo's blessing. Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpao monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of her military heroes. <laughs> Bella. <laughs> Bella, you're so loud. I'm, I, she's behind the microphone. That's, that's the only thing that is saving me from having to stop. <laughs> Whoa. I was talking to my dog and not noticing what was going on over here. Where's that guy? Somebody was over here. Oh, hi. Oh, wrong button. Middle button. Well, doesn't matter. Don't need the middle button. Just took that guy out. Acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from some distance away. Items found in the world are different than loot in that they must be approached to be picked up. Press and hold Q to acquire loot. So we just press and hold Q anywhere, and loot just vacuums up into us. Okay. Okay, so that's like our souls, I guess. Oh, hi there. Oh, he saw me. I could have snuck around, I guess, but we're not. We're not sneaking. We're just. We're just running right into things. Maybe we can do a. Whoops. Nope. Attack me. Oh. Ah. I'll take your loots. Thank you. So we can grapple up onto this tree. And up here onto the roof. This looks like the, uh... <laughs> this looks like, uh, the, uh, gameplay video that I've seen before. So I really have not seen much about this game. I mean, I know it's a From Software game, so I knew I was going to buy it. But I haven't seen a whole lot about, you know, how it's different from previous games. Other than this grappling hook thing. Um, can we just... We could just run over here. I mean, I don't... I'm not sure what I think of this grappling hook yet. I mean, it's not... Not really my favorite thing. It feels a bit more limited than I would like. I would like to be able to just grapple anywhere that I want. That would be my preference. Okay, so I feel like... What? Oh, hi. It's a chicken. There's a giant chicken just attacked me. That was weird. Was not expecting that. Let's get back over here. I guess we'll just go back over here. Backstab. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, there's another one right there. 
ceramic shard, a piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Throw it at an enemy to draw their attention. Throwing and smashing, smashing such pieces made for a popular sport amongst Ashina boys. Even after growing up, they remember the games well. Whoops. Whoops. I, uh... I accidentally ran into something and... Fistful of ash, ash gripped into a hardened clump. In Ashina, the snow falls thick and thus the hearth runs thick with ash. I'm not precisely sure that I, uh, that I know where I'm going here. Ungo's sugar. More sugar candy. I mean, I, I can't really tell if I'm going forward or backwards right now. lot of stealth moves in this game. It's just a whole lot of stealthiness here. Can we open this? No, we cannot. Yeah, I just, I don't know if I'm going towards where I'm supposed to go or not. Ceramic shard again. Well, I'm thinking if I throw these ceramic shards... Um, then, um, people would, uh, walk up and, uh, oh, that was nice. Good job. <laughs> I hit the wall twice in a row. Good job. Way to go. Um... Plunging attacks? Yep, we sure can. <laughs> awesome. That was awesome. That, oh, that must be our experience level, that leaf up there. That's what that is. Oh, I thought I saw somebody here. Oh, okay, so here's the other side of the bridge. Wait. No, that's not the other... That's not where I came from. My earbud just fell out. That is, um... Something else entirely. I thought that's where we came from, but... Nope. That's just another random bridge that doesn't mean anything. Ah, okay. Here's where we came from. Where, where did we come from? I can't tell. I just can't tell. We didn't go over here. Oh, we came from over that way. Alright, whatever. Whatever, whatever. I know exactly what's going on. I don't really like the delay that happens when you throw the grappling hook. That's a little bit irritating. I would rather be able to run and grapple at the same time. If I had my druthers. More pellets? Okay, so I feel like we, uh... This is the direction we need to go, I think. 
Oh, hello, doggy. Dogs and dark souls. Three dogs and dark souls. I'm stuck. I'm very stuck right here. Okay, the dogs only take one hit each to kill. That's very useful. They didn't actually hurt me very much. Weirdly enough. Looks like they didn't hurt me at all, actually. Ceramic shards. Oh, it's another sculptor's idol. The outskirts wall gate path. Okie doke. Um, where to now? I feel like they're uh, giving me a big hint that I should be using grappling hook. Shiroken wheel, a mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen, can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it is palm sized, a surprising number of shiroken can fit into the shiroken wheel, as the edges were designed for stacking. A fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with a shinobi's talents. Hmm, so we need to take this back to the guy. Shinobi tools can't be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic. You can quickly return to the sculptor via travel from a sculptor's idol or by using the homeward idol. <laughs> I don't have one of those, I don't think. But. We can get over here to this uh, sculptor's idol. Well, if we can jump up here, that is. Let's go back to the dilapidated temple. How does this work exactly? What is this open antique map? Oh, there's an antique map. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so the, the Ashina Reservoir is way over here on the right, and we came way over here to the Ashina Outskirts. Hmm. Oh, so you have to click on the left side first, then you can click on the right side. That's irritating. But it's okay. Hey, I found some tools. に入れと。人具敵を殺す術も増えるじゃろ。殺す相手なりの殺し方を持つ。そういうことじゃ。随分と詳しい。え、いかんな。いつまでも血生臭いことを言うてるから、仏の顔も鬼になるのよ。どれ<笑> The more I talk of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures become. What does that mean? Here. This guy looks quite a bit larger than a normal person size. He's only got one arm, too.
This, uh... Oh, it's waiting for me to do something. <laughs> I was gonna say, how long is this gonna take? Fitting prosthetic tools. Regular shinobi tools found in the world can be spe specially adapted to the shinobi prosthetic via the fit prosthetics tools menu. Loaded shirokin. Uh... Cost spirit emblems to use. Pull a shuriken loaded into the wheel and launch it at a target in a single flowing motion. The swiftly thrown shuriken damages enemy vitality and posture, particularly against those with a tendency to take to the air. So we use that against flying creatures, apparently. Uh, sure, let's create a loaded shuriken. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. Shuriken. Okay. I have done it. I guess I'll go back now. わしが掘るほとけはどうやったっていかりがおだ。ごぶかいものはそうなる。お前さんもいつか掘ってみればわかるだろうさ。それで何か言おうか。<laughs> Every Buddha he carves is an incan incarnation of wrath, he said. <laughs> Don't do anything funny with it. Prosthetic tools. They can be equipped in the equipment menu. Using them consumes spirit emblems. Oh, my dog is snoring again. She moved closer to the microphone, so it will be picked up quite a bit easier. So let's, uh, let's load this Shiruken Spirit Emblems. I don't know if I have any Spirit Emblems. I don't know where to find Spirit Emblems. Is that what these things are? Zero of fifteen, it says. I guess I don't have any. Okay, then. There we go. All done. Oh, what was that? Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. Spirit emblems can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptor's idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. Oh, I see. So that's what those cross things are. Ah, so I have two of them now. They just appeared. Two spirit emblems. Thank you. Thank you, doctor, for your services. So we can purchase them. How much do they cost? Ten. Ten gold thingies per spirit emblem. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so, should we continue? Or should we stop here? Let's travel to the gate path. Uh, I think all the enemies will be restored now. Alert indicators. You can tell if an enemy has been alerted to your presence based on the color of the alert. And I bet all the enemies are back. I don't see any enemies, but I bet they're all back now. Uh, yeah, they're back. Oh, somebody, somebody's, oh, the dogs are back. Oh, those bastards. You guys can't get to me up here. You can't get to me. All right, so I think I will just stop here, and uh, we will pick up from here next time. Getting into the outskirts. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.